All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for 86, episode 20. The hunt is on. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. Morpho's run. It's it's going. Because direct order from high command. Yeah, overriding even the will of the uh, Knight of the Late Empress. Indeed. Who I mean, is she's, she's along for the late. ride. Yeah, because yeah, not she's, late. she's actually there. Right, right. right. Yeah. She's late in that she like, you know, she wasn't showing up until now, but you know. Ah, right. Right. Also, you know, late in his mind in that he thinks that she's passed. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, I guess that, yeah, that is a mm-hmm. thing, yeah. But that means the party is delayed, not late. Right, because, delayed, not know. late. But also they're delayed because they're humans and they need to chase a, a, a mechanical thing that doesn't re- probably need to sleep. Right, because a reaper is never late. Right. It arrives precisely with death when it means to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh. Stopped. Yeah. Cool. Whoa. それによって。ああ、sitting okay. on the tracks too. Oh, nice, nice. yeah. Good catch. うん。なんで。なんでじゃねえよ。レギオンともかうじゃうじゃいる中を見つからねえで戻るんだ。高専なんてしていたらすぐに全滅するのは前にこの支配域を通った経験で分かってるだろ。うん。今のお前に引っ
That actually is pretty it's smart. Probably. Yeah. And she would actually know, potentially. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look at the steam coming off her head! <laughs> ah! Oh. <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> the only reason I'm not killing you uh -huh. is, is because you're, you're a child. child. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. No one's dying alone. Oh, hey, here. look, a, a dead thing. It's just another Tuesday. Hey, he thinks the mission itself is kind of extreme in general. Right. Nope. True. That would be bad, wouldn't it? This is that exact conversation from FMAB. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that they're bringing this up, though. Like, they don't actually have a supply line. Fido would have limited stuff. Okay. Yeah, oh, wow. We're, yeah, we're going. Okay. We're, yeah. We're a bit ahead. Okay, calm down, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Too bad a reaper's not here to enjoy this view. Oh, oh he is watching it. He's just... Yeah. Yeah. He feels he feels separate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice yeah. little divide the right. right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing up? Mm. Mm. <laughs> he has the ability. What? What? <laughs> what do you mean? How would he know? Uh, oh. No, it's just the fact. Mm -hmm. いや、あんな程度のやりたいことでさえ何も出てこないのが。おかしいっていうのは少し思った。楽しかった。すぐに終わると思っていたから。わあ。知られず知るものだと。けど生き延びて。Unfortunately. <笑>その先に兄さんはもういないから。その面代わりになる目的を持ちたかった。いや、that <笑> Oh. 
but then if he's gone then what's left yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apathy is death. Hmm. Oh, if only you knew, buddy. Sounds like a major problem. Mm -hmm. If only he knew how, like, close he was to being right, and yet just yeah. in the simplicity of having it's... Kurena love him and have uh -huh. her crush on him, that whole thing falls apart. Right. The little ways in which Raiden looks out for you in that mm -hmm. regard is not just yep. because he's scared of his own survival. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Combat operations. Oh, oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Searching? Really? Oh, because because if he gets first shot advantage, it could be sure. just over immediately. Right, right, right. And now he knows that he's being chased. Mm -hmm. He probably didn't think he was being chased after a certain point, you right. know? Right, because it's not the we can't have you fight them at all. It's mm -hmm. the if it if you are, it's going to be with the advantage. Right. All right. Okay. We got some good introspection from Shin. We did. We got a little bit of a follow up on where everyone is moving mm -hmm. as the chase continues, but also that the alliance has beaten back the legion and is continuing forth into their territory to right. follow up on the advance that's been made. So. Things are working really well. Mm -hmm. In some ways, we're kind of skipping around a lot of the battle in general to show that, no, the Alliance's advance is working, but there are a lot of people being lost in the uh, in the, in the follow-up in right. there. But that's not Multiple the focus to this, to this battle. Right, that's not the focus right now because that's not where a lot of our named characters are at, so yep. we're going to focus on them kind of thinking about how they feel about, well, what it means to keep moving forward. So right. this episode had a very Attack on Titan oh, yeah. feel to it. Oh, yeah. The themes were on point, mm -hmm. and we got to have a good set of conversations with uh, Shin being kind of the focal point throughout it. Which makes sense, because he is definitely the main character of this side of things, um, and this is something that he's had to deal with over the course of the whole show, mm -hmm. but this is where it can really come to a head. Because he could change from this. There's a yeah. lot of things here that are set up to where he could change irrevocably as a person mm -hmm. in a good way or in some ways a, a way that isn't necessarily bad, but one that leads towards him um, dead, basically. Right. And I, I loved the that, that, that at the very beginning of the episode, they brought up the fact that, hey, Shin, um, that way that you were in that fight, that scares us, essentially, and we're, we're concerned. We need to confront you about because, it, yeah. um, Originally, I was thinking that that would be something that they would kind of all have a have a taste of, you know, in or, some form or other. Right, right, or they would kind of, you know, ask some questions in a concerned way, but they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't so directly confront him on it. Right. Yeah. But in in Shin's specific situation, mm -hmm. the his strength his greatest strength is also his greatest weakness. Right. Yeah. He's the Reaper. You know, he's a mm -hmm. he's a badass on the battlefield and all that stuff, mm -hmm. but. He really does ignore kind of everything that's not the battlefield. And so as a result of that, he doesn't have the simple answer to the problem that the rest of them share. Mm -hmm. Because it's like... Well, because he... Yeah. Because the, the, the plight that he has, it's that that's a that is a very legitimate plight right mm -hmm. the all the things that he says about you know if you don't really want anything then you're kind of dead you know it's sure. like that's that's, that's yeah that's true. that's true you know yeah. like like it but just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right you know right. and and so he's he's missing the the simple other things that would that would completely shift this this problem and make it be a done deal right because it's sometimes not about what you want, and this is this is a bit of a bit of a weird take here. I would mm -hmm. say, for I even acknowledge it, but there's something very simple about Shin kind of having the 
uh, kind of the perspective that they all will move on after he dies or once they've gotten through all this and it's the yeah then i won't be needed because i'm just the reaper and it's like well bro i think yes but actually no i think you're i think you're right but you're also discounting just the amount of time you've spent with them right the, the reason why they've stuck with you all this time isn't just because you're hyper competent and you've got a plan and everything like that mm-hmm. it's the element of they love you they like right. being not just around you for the purpose of survival but Raiden specifically was the one that confronted you about this because they knew that he was the closest to you mm-hmm. not because he'd be the most effective well because that, that's also part of it but also just because well um, he's close to you he cares about you he like loves you he mm-hmm. he, he definitely has like a, a a strong strong connection to you emotionally and thus it pains him to see you like this right so a lot of people go through times where they lose sight of well their their own personal fire or desire to to go after things and that was why it was so awesome that he ended up getting so close to lena over the course of that time Mm -hmm. at the beginning of the show and thus also then having, well, nobody in the strictest sense that is kind of replaced that spot for him of where he can just quietly just have intimate moments of just sharing things and stuff like that is because in some ways you've chosen to see the people around you right now in kind of a weird reflected way of how you see yourself. You don't want to ask anything of them. You don't want to wish anything upon them. Right. You're basically saying you guys aren't needed. And yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's uh God, I, I love I love when anime gets into this kind of conundrum because mm-hmm. oftentimes, you know, the the desire to um essentially keep people that you care about out of harm's way and mm-hmm. spare them the grief and all of that stuff by bearing the burden yourself and mm-hmm. whatnot. Um, that can seem very noble and all that, you know, garbage. Um, but but when it comes right down to it, you're actually you're putting them proud. Yeah. You're, you're just being proud, and you're making them suffer even more, right? Yeah. Because oh, maybe it's in Shin's case here, it's an avenue that he is not comfortable with, mm-hmm. right? He doesn't have a lot of practice with. Nope. There's nothing wrong with that, nope. right? He's used to being hyper competent in this area of fighting and surviving and all of mm-hmm. that stuff. And so naturally, when all you have is a hammer, everything sort of looks like a nail, you mm-hmm. know. And then if you don't see any nails, you're like, well, oh, my life is meaningless. It's like, right. well, but you you don't have to just be a hammer, you know. Right. And and right. and then I love that even on the even in the simplest sense, <laughs> the conversation between the general and, and the, the the other guy mm-hmm. um, was about how much they kind of need them <laughs> just in general as a unit to survive like it's like you guys are they're a good hammer <laughs> we, we really need them to to be that so you know just like your um, your mechanized you know units and stuff like that don't wear them out to the point that they're no longer useful. Mm-hmm. You still have to be able to keep going. You got to change out blades every once in a yeah, you while. You got to change out blades every once in a while. You have to check your liquids. You have to mm-hmm. really just take care of yourself. And this is something that um, is a vicious cycle when you get caught up in Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Is that when you feel that you're not worthy of being taken care of for whatever reason, mm-hmm. whether it's something like, hey, I no longer have desires. Like, like Shin, I I totally totally understand that. It's a scary place it's to a, be. It's a very scary place to be. But then that becomes a cycle where then you focus in on the things that are like what you're what you're still able to do in those moments, but you don't actually give yourself the upkeep to be able to do that thing. Right. And then the thing that you were originally good at, you become less and less good at as you then don't take care of yourself to be able to reinforce to do the thing. So then you start to realize, yes, I am losing value. Because the thing that I was only, I, I was attaching my identity to, I'm getting worse at because I'm not taking care of myself, which then makes me feel you're, like I'm even less valuable. And right. it, you're, you're so you're so weak from starvation that you can't, you don't have the energy to, to get the food. food. Yeah, 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 right, exactly. And and yeah. so that's why you need right, other people it. with you. But the the mm-hmm. trouble is, is that they can't actually fix the situation. They can't situation. force you to eat. Right. They can't force you to eat. You know, mm-hmm. and 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 they can't make you make you even. Want to eat. Want to eat, yeah. right? True. And that's 
that's where it gets really tough. And I mm -hmm. and I loved the not just the write in conversation, right? But the rest of them kind of watching that happen mm -hmm. and just sort of wondering what they can do. Wondering what they can do, and because because in a lot of ways there isn't much you can do. There isn't much, yeah. Right. You you can set them up for success and hope for the best. Right. Right. They're they're right in that they were saying that it's not enough for them to just be there for him. Mm -hmm. You kind of do need to confront him a little bit. You need right. to you need to initiate the connection there because when it comes down to it, this is a survival based need. Mm -hmm. He is getting to the point where it's the he's not sleeping, he's not thinking straight, and he's when they're doing about to go in into battle. combat, right? and this isn't a thing of where and and this is this is the rough thing because from his perspective it could seem like a thing that is very realistic of the. They're just concerned that I'm not going to be able to keep them alive. So I'm going to do them the favor of sending them away so that there, I solved your problem. You're not right. going to be under the threat But then of the death. problem is, is like, even, even if it wasn't just a thing of the, we're worried about you not being able to come back. No, 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 no. No. Mm -hmm. Shin, you're giving yourself way too much credit. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what makes you think you'd be able to do this mission by yourself? Yep. Like, like the main are you God? Bitch. Are you God? Like, 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 learn some, learn some humility, you proud <laughs> fuck. Like, like, no. If you go by yourself, mission fails. They die because the Morpho obliterates every city yeah. that's you know left up. No, that's you, you're you're. It's all in your head, Mr. Tweedy. Say it. I don't know why I thought of that line, but the point is that it doesn't work. Yeah. You need them with you in order to be able to do this. Yeah. And if you're not up to snuff, um, sorry, in some ways, I would not be surprised if it reached a point where actually it would be better if you weren't on the mission. Sure. You know, yeah. and you were just trying to give them like, you know, uh, give call outs of, of Legion, right. you know, is, movements or something. Which is what the higher up suggested with uh, the Federacy. Yeah. 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 So in, in, in a lot of ways, this is kind of the thing of where it's very, very easy to empathize with Shin's situation here mm -hmm. and that it just sucks to be in that place. Oh, yeah. And. He needs people like Frederica who are going to be kind of blunt and give that like that that stare of just that, like, like bitch, Baca, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. like it's just like fucking sun sundere, right, you know? right, yeah. And then Raiden, who's the bro, it's me. Mm -hmm. You can't yeah. you can't bullshit me, Frederica, with the. I can kind of have a read on things, my dude. Mm -hmm. So I can see what's going on. I'm not blind. I I, I have yeah. eyes. I can see you. And while you might be seeing something of yourself in a uh, in a very uh, warped manner because your mirror is off. Mm -hmm. I love the way she said that. Um, I. Frederica used a lot of things about talking about her situation and where she has kind of used him in that regard to yeah. validate his feelings in this, but also say, but don't make my mistake, kid. It's always so funny when Frederica right. goes like full like therapist and you're like, she's Aren't a kid. You eight? <laughs> right, right. And then it's the, oh, right. She has this ability that allows her to kind of read what's going on with people right. to the point where they kind of used, and this is brilliant writing, by the way. Just they used a comedic situation to remind the audience. Obviously, we didn't forget, but the idea oh, that uh -huh. showing she has such a good read on things that she psychoanalyzed exactly probably what Shin feels in response to Kurena's feelings of the yeah he probably kind of knows in a vague way, but it's just in that it's seen as like an extra kind of doting kind of child to their like older brother kind of thing and you know he doesn't even see you really as and a then woman Anji's like, and Anji's like and Anji's like Federica there's some things that you just shouldn't say <laughs> even if it's just because you're correct right. doesn't mean you're right Federica yeah. you have your power right 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 uh Observe, observe me right now. In, in my power. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. What, what? Uh... What am I feeling and thinking right now? And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I understand, I understand, mom. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh. It's brilliant comedy to set up this mm. scene later that <laughs> just works so well. And this is why she's here, story-wise, because then you can have really cool conversations like mm -hmm. this because she's an outsider from the exactly. Spearhead Squadron. Yep. But also because Shin won't just try to blow her off because, uh, you know, of their, like, emotional connection because he's not that close to her. Nope. He doesn't have that kind of built-in... Um, right. Uh, relationship and full of memories and stuff. Exactly. With Raiden or with any of the other Spearhead Squadron, he understands them enough to kind of 
be able to brush them off. To be able you know? to deflect them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Whereas with her, it's it's a little she, tougher. She goes straight to the heart of the matter. Yeah, and right, and on top of that, she has the power. You right, know? right, exactly. So yeah. Um, the idea, though, of Kiria being used kind of as an excuse, mm -hmm. and he kind of acknowledges that, I feel like might have been uh, one of the things that was like, uh, hey, I get it, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But I liked the way in which she almost set him up to talk a little bit. Because I always wonder when when stories kind of have these moments where the character pontificates about a thing. And it's very clear that they've got kind of the wrong perspective on things. Okay. It's not that she's, you know, her philosophy of the, oh, the reason you're so disinterested in humanity's survival in your own lives is that, you know, this beauty exists only because there's no humans here. And it's... It's the, well, okay, I kind of get that. And it's a perspective. Kinda, it's know? a perspective. And then she kind of goes, maybe it's what the Legion wants. And it's like the, okay, now you're really going off into the weeds. And it's almost like an immediate thing to set him up to talk about just this stuff. Where it's the, hey, I'm going to speak on that thing that you're actually kind of an expert on. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to intentionally be wrong so right. that, that way you have to correct me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> and then he starts talking and then it's the, oh yeah, they're ghosts. Ghosts aren't supposed to want anything. And it's the, like me. Yeah. Right. And then she's like, ah, gotcha, bitch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> right. And and it's, ah. I, I absolutely love watching characters that are in the throes of apathy, mm -hmm. um, struggling against or grappling with the apathy because it's, it's mm -hmm. like, it's this thing where they can't, they can't bring themselves to help themselves. Right. right. Yeah. Right. And yet there's this part of them that probably doesn't like their situation. Right. If you were to write a character that was truly 100 percent concentrated apathy, mm -hmm. then they they would just sort of like it, it'd be it'd be that it'd scene in serenity. Right. It'd yeah. Lay down and die or whatever. Right. Yeah. But it's the it's the it's the 99 percent. Right. Right. Or, or right. Is that still that one percent that's like. Fuck. Right, right. You know, you, you are you are cold, Shin, but you're not that cold. Exactly. And you, I, I, <laughs> it would be easier for you if you were that cold. Right. You you are actually a marshmallow in there, and and I'm going to I'm going to poke your marshmallow. Maybe a cold show. marshmallow, but you know we'll, we'll toast you eventually. I don't well, know. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> marshmallow outsides get crusty from getting cold, but the inside, no, you still got your your gooey your gooey center and stuff. <laughs> but I, I love this analogy. It's so it's there. it's so bad. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I. I love that she kind of gets to reinforce a lot of what Raiden says, but um, uh, him saying, I'm the only one of us who still isn't truly alive, and the ones who call that, who call me that, will someday go on. He's the Reaper. Or something, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And it's the, okay, so you acknowledge basically that There's this identity, <laughs> well, we're right, but this identity is something that is imposed and not not exactly who you are mm. but in the uh in the complicated sense of wanting to have a place where you're needed and you belong but also one where you need to uh take care of other people and kind of guard them and stuff you you feel like you're doing everything that you are you were meant to do mm -hmm. but there's another part of you that felt at home i think when you were talking with lena Yes. The idea of having somebody who feels a little bit like an outsider mm -hmm. that you can talk to, who's doing their best to take care of a whole bunch of other people that don't necessarily have an intimate relationship with them. And even if maybe even if maybe you want to, because this is maybe where he felt a little bit of a connection there, even if you want to, you know that there are things that you can't overcome immediately that are holding you back. Right. You're Sisyphus put, pushing a stone up a hill, you know. Lena could not save Spearhead Squadron, no, right? She, not she really. can't overcome all the, the yeah. racism and stuff that yeah, they were and, dealing and, with. Yeah, and the Legion, and, you know, and right, uh, right. like all that. It's not going to Impossible work. task. Impossible in that task. In his situation, he's got an impossible task. How do I keep them safe? Well, okay, if I can't see, keep them safe in life, at least I can look after them in death, right? You know, that's, that's, that's something. That's something, you know, and hey, mm -hmm. there, there you go. You know, if it helps give even you if, purpose even, to the situation and even everything. Even if he hasn't really thought that much with regards uh -huh. to that, because I could totally see it being a thing where he maybe eventually comes to that conclusion that that could be something that he could do because um, 
of what his brother did. Mm. Basically that in the world building sense, the brother has opened up the idea that if someone was to be um, even they, having their head cut off, like... Right, they could still theoretically... They could, they could still have a little bit of will within the Legion and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And yeah. yes, Shin, I definitely think there's a possibility in the story oh, yeah. that that could come up at, at mm -hmm. some point in the future. That, right. But for now... It is not this day. Is, <laughs> it is not this day, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this day, this day we fight, mm -hmm. stand... And, and for now, maybe sleep. Right, right, you know. right. At the second, you should sleep. Yeah. But also, you know. Tata Kai, motherfucker. Yeah, Tata fucking Kai. Yeah. And also, <laughs> you don't, you don't maybe, because we called you kind of a bit proud earlier, but like the reason why pride is a problem is not because it makes you see yourself as greater than you actually are, or mm -hmm. maybe just in just an incorrect way. It's the idea that you forcibly distance yourself from other people. Hmm. And yet you are, at this point, well, definitely there are things like limiting them in terms of their being only for others and then their equipment's sure. also starting to break down and all that. It's yeah. the, no, you do not have the carte blanche, like kind of blank check ability to say that I'm the only reason that these missions have gone through thus far exactly and it's, i'm the only reason that they're still alive right like no. like it's it's one of no. those things where not true not true they're yeah. they're not just alive because of their combat ability i want to mm -hmm. follow up this one other thing here. yeah but they're also still around and kicking because of those wishes things that you say you don't have you say mm. you don't have mm. Mm. which you know if you're going to basically lead by example in a way to say that you know you can't have wishes and stuff like that which is we know that's we know that's not true right there are, there's an element your, of that your savior you're, you're complex living. in and of itself is a wish right right Ex exactly yeah. yep yeah. <laughs> but also it, it's it totally makes sense that you don't see it that way right now right so yep mhm mm mhm mm yeah. yeah 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 he's and He's, if you have to medicate with the thrill of battle, um, yes, that's, that's okay. That's that's a perfectly legitimate option. Like like the reason everybody has to be drunk on something, right? The reason they had a problem with that was not because they're like, hey, um, you know, you you enjoyed it too much. No, it's the yeah. um, that that seems indicative of a of a, of a larger problem. of a larger problem. If you need to self medicate that deeply, mm -hmm. what's the what's the actual what's like, the actual underlying thing that you're medicating? <laughs> right? Like, can you, you know, talk to us about that? Yeah, exactly. Because we'd like to offer some alternative medicine solution. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because Anju, the naturopath, is <laughs> essential oils. No. Um, <laughs> like, and this is this is a head canon of mine because mm -hmm. they didn't actually say it, and and maybe it's because they don't. Or maybe, or maybe because they don't want to shift focus away from from Shin as the main character. Okay, but I hundred percent believe that for each of them, at some point, at some level, at some time, they would have also had that point where they would have had to um, enjoy the fight. Okay, you know, okay. like of like course, it, of course. Yeah, they talked about that. Yeah, because yeah. what are you gonna do in, yeah. in a situation Definitely. as fucked as this? But. But all right, okay. let's, uh, let's keep moving forward and see the ocean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not Attack on Titan, people. This nope. Not there, Attack on there Titan. There are no enemies on the other side. No it's, enemies it's just, over there. It's just, it's just going to be a happy moment. And mm -hmm. Lena will be there and it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So y'all, without uh, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.